I recently had a colleague ask me if it was possible for them to mark some work in a student's section in a class in OneNote and then stop them from being able to change what the teacher had written or the marks on the page. Um, by default this is not possible but um, I've developed a method that can work and hopefully uh, people out there might find this useful. So uh, we have here a, a class OneNote I'll show you how to do it. Uh, for example I'll demonstrate with this student here uh, we have a couple of sections here, He's set tasks, this is some homework that I marked a little while ago, a couple of ticks as a comment, as a cross, just for the sake of argument, we'll use the students as the guinea pig. First step is to actually go into our class notebook on OneDrive, which is where it's stored, Office 365. Uh, of course, when you do get to, I'll just go back a section so you can see the original, so there's the class notebooks folder, I'm in the class notebooks now and they're here. Once you're in there, of course, you do have to access the actual notebook without opening it. Uh, and the way to do that is by amending the URL at the end with the name of the actual notebook, EC11G. Now here, you need to be careful, it's percentage 20 is the code for space here. Two. When you've done that, Typing out the full name, hopefully if I've typed it correctly, I'm now inside that class OneNote. Uh, this is the student that I had used, I'll go into that student section, and once I'm inside the student section of the OneNote, I'm going to create a new folder. Now the folder will appear as a section group, uh, I'll call it Marked Work. Again, only the teacher and the individual student will be able to access it. Uh, however, by default, the student will have editing rights as well. Um, I'm going to stop that. I'm going to change it to viewing only. Now, what that means, I'll just show it again. That means that the student will only be able to view the work that is in that section where we've put our marked papers or marked homework or anything else you don't want the student to change once you've spent some time doing it. We'll then go back to our OneNote. I'm going to force a, a sync here, just to make it go a bit quicker. Sync now. And in a moment you'll see marked work appear at the top of the page. And there you go, it's appeared at the top of the page there, the, second, the new section group. Once again, I'll just show we actually are inside that individual student section. Now, as it's a section group, you will need to add a section. I'm going to call this one marked homework. This will be for homework. Uh, while I'm here I'll make another section for quizzes that I might mark for them in future. And once you've done that, uh, it's just simply a matter of getting the page that we've marked, that we don't want the student to change any further, and moving it into that section. Once it's there, there we go. Uh, the page is now inside the marked work section group which is only viewable by a student uh, within their individual section thereby preventing other, any other student to see seeing it but allowing uh, the individual teacher and student to have access. Um, I hope you found this useful. Um, send me a message if you want some more advice. Thanks, bye.